Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Our children are off to see their uncle and auntie in San Francisco. That's very exciting for them. We've made it through security. Now we have to find our terminal. San Francisco with our uncle and auntie and we've got bikes and we're gonna ride around town today. We started off the ride along the beachfront then we went through the city and into a beautiful garden where we rode the bikes. Taj and I had electric bikes so they were really easy to pedal. Then we thought a little bit of a reward for our long bike ride we'd get some ice cream then we walked up the famous hill in San Francisco where the Fuller House house is. Three days we did quite a bit of stuff but I didn't film it all because we were just enjoying it. Some skateboarding, we ate at some really nice places and obviously we had to drive across the Golden Gate Bridge and watch a beautiful sunset and oh, finishing the day with a fire and some s'mores. Thanks Uncle Dan and Auntie Heidi for having us. Meanwhile, back on Catalpa 2, not everything was going to plan. Okay, I'll try the propane first. No, just killed it straight away. Yeah, go check the breaker. Let me yeah. turn this back off. Okay. Still working? Uh, Honey, what did you do wrong? <laughs> it's not going to plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just the usual then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know yet. I don't know. We're just trying to figure out the shore power. We have the inverter on and inverting. But uh, oh, we have a problem with the shore power. All right, guys, we finally figured out the wiring situation. Uh, we are from the land down under. We just run 240 volts. It's quite simple. But uh, we actually thought that... Uh, the boat had a 50 amp 125 volt plug, but it appeared that it had a 50 amp 125 250 volt. So a little bit of orientation with our cables and we were back in action, all sorted. We got our new dinghy. We didn't have an outboard and we were planning on rowing because at the moment we can't afford one. But there's a really lovely guy in the marina. Um, Paul mentioned that we don't have an outboard and Craig had this one that he wasn't using so it's not running at the moment but Lee's pretty sure he'll be able to get it running so we might have an outboard super super cool I think it's eight, ha eight horsepower but it will be definitely quicker than us rowing <laughs> sure so thank you Craig hey what are you doing today I'm going up to install this one what else are you doing up there we will fix the jib the jib halyard that's uh, badly chafed Maybe give it a bit of chafe protection. Hopefully we've got some lights by the time I get back down. Run some checks while I'm up there and we'll see if we've got power to start with. And if we've got power, we're halfway there. And we just got to see if the old tri light fits onto the mount of the new tri light, which will make it a lot easier if these screws align and it's just a swap out, which will make for an easy install. That'd be nice. That'd be Let's nice. So. See how we go. All right, well, Brian and I are going to pull him up. The kids are still in San Francisco. Yeah. They're coming back today, actually. Fun things. We did quite a bit for only being like three days, like three and a half days. And now we're flying back to San Diego. This is nice. Great. So you got to hurry up because we're going to go pick him up from the airport. <laughs> No pressure, no pressure. Just no more. hurrying when we're going up the mast, <laughs> but anyway, put a bit of uh, lubrication on the sail track on the way up. We'll be super ready for when we leave in a few days' time. <laughs> yeah, of course we are. Couldn't be more ready. Couldn't be more ready. All right, ready to roll. Okay, so we're two thirds up the mast at the moment, and our electric windlasses seem to have um, blown a circuit or a fuse. I'll just have a look. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Have a look at these solar panels. Alright, uh, there's a lot of windy jump here guys, but you can see what I'm doing. Might be 
be able to just switch this out and clip our new one on for now and go up the mast at a later date when I got more time. I'm gonna have a look. So there's no actual line or strain retention on this, so um, I'm not a big fan of how they've done this. The actual whole weight of the wire is uh, relying on the fitting itself to hold it. So I don't know if I can change something up here. I don't have a lot to work with, probably two, maybe three inches of line. All right, so the ancient Windex broke right off. <laughs> so badly corroded. So it came down, it's rejected. Yep. We don't need it. Yeah, souvenir. Okay. All right, we're gonna auction this off. <laughs> Starting at fifty cents. Why do people paint masks? High yep. five, Brian, we didn't kill him. All right. <laughs> you made it back. <laughs> oh, so stiff. No. Yeah. All right. How was All it? Right. Well, there's no strain relief on the cable that goes down to the bottom. So I was relying really just oh. on what comes into the light fitting. Yeah. So maybe it did have strain relief when it was over on those other holes and they've shortened it and put another one on. So I've got to open up that hole, just so that cable's perfect, okay. um, and then get a good clamp on that. And you want to see if we can pull any slack up there? Or? I pulled a bit, like it was only okay. just hanging out, and then oh. as I pulled, I could feel the weight of the cable. Okay, yeah. So I've got like maybe a hundred mil out. All right. And, um, Back into it. when you're not on the wind there, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> Here's the muscles in here. We literally just got off the plane straight into it, baby. <laughs> Fun and games is over. <laughs> Alright, what's he got in his bucket? He's got a heat gun, sealant, scissors, some tools, the light, this is the tri light that he's gonna yeah. put up there. And uh, his, his favorite penetrating oh, oil. Yeah. Hopefully everything's in there. No, it's all right. We can yeah. send things up. Yeah, it's not a problem. It. These are the spare things that he might need. So he's had a little bit of issues up there. Couldn't get the lights to work. Tri light or the anchor light, but we sent it down and Brian's checked it and it works. So, we think it's a wire problem. And uh, it's getting dark, <laughs> the sun is going down, it's definitely cold right now. And I bet you it's freezing up there. Hopefully, we can get it sorted before it gets too dark. Okay, the light's going to go back up, I think. Try yeah. again. Yeah. We'll yeah try it again. One, quick look up the top. Put a head torch in there for him. <laughs> well, we had a fail on the lights. Um, just trying to figure out what happened. We don't know yet. It doesn't seem to want to... Whether the pins don't come in contact properly or... We don't know yet. But anyway, we've been up and down, up and down. <laughs> and um, a 10 minute job's turned into an all afternoon. And we're still away. not working. We have power up the mast. We have power 
on the base plate. The light actually. But then works. when we put the actual light on, we don't have any power. Wire up a temporary jumper. Down here. And then Let's see if it works. And then sort of just sitting like that. And I thought before I go playing around with it, I'll make sure it works. But yeah. Well, this was the halyard that was holding up the head sail, and um, as you can see, it was coming through a block. I did inspect the block. The block was actually just felt normal. There's no edges around the um, wheel itself, but it's probably just been up there for a long, long time. Could have even been loose and rubbing a different way to what I was actually seeing. Who knows? But I've cut that off and uh, we've joined it back together. And we've put a little bit of heat shrink over this area that was um, chafed. And uh, hopefully that's right for a little while. Yes, this is the rest of the layout's been. Yeah, that's been inside the mast, so um, that's quite all right. Yeah. Core looked really well. Looks like brand new. It's healthy. It's a healthy, it's healthy core. And uh, I must say, when we had our first little sailing boat years ago, it didn't look that much broke. better than this. <laughs> but um, we had a rigger come out and he went up and I was like, are you sure? <laughs> but it was probably a little bit better than that, but you could see the core. Anyway, That's what he climbed up with. Yeah, I was really nervous. I was like, are you sure? I don't feel comfortable about this. And he's like, no, no, it's all good. He <laughs> pretty like, much, he just climbed that thing. He was like, yeah, no, yeah. I don't think he even used the line. Yeah, he was pretty good. Good job. You did do something. You got one job. Yeah. So I got a present today. This is very awesome. So we all have a backup. We run out of gas or we don't want to use our gas. All right, he's going up the mast again. Alright, so we got our stickers um, from lettering.com. They were pretty easy to do. We ordered it online. Um, reasonably priced, it's kind of expensive, but they gave us a discount. So thank you for that. Uh, but it's pretty easy to do and they came really quickly. And we are just about to put, well, try and place them on Catalpa. So Catalpa 2. That's what we're doing. Lee is up the mast trying to get the tri light and the mast light installed. We had a little bit of problems yesterday, but hopefully it all goes smoothly today. We got a professional sticker off. <laughs> that is not a good position. Put the sticker on when Lee gets down from being up the mast. But uh, this is where it's gonna go. We decided on here. Lee came down the mast and <laughs> wasn't a fan of my spot because it wasn't symmetrical. We all agree that this is a better spot, so this is where it's going. So that should just go down under there and then we can peel back. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Just gotta get that even. I've got one more side to go. It took a long time. <laughs> the other side done. And we're about to lose live, but we got our stickers on today. The boys are just doing one at the back. And uh, we've got finally got our name on the boat. She's officially Catalpa 2 now. Oh my god, what's that? Be quick. That was a seal. Alright, it's the back. Catalpa 2. We are official. All right, so we're moving the tender off the deck. First time the boat's touched the water. Oh, look at it. Hello, uh, floats. Here's <laughs> oh, a clean break. <laughs> you don't, the day. <laughs>
so we just went to customs and with in three days we were planning on sailing to um mexico in sonata which is like a day sail away and uh we went to customs and they told us we had all the paperwork, everything was fine, so we're missing an ITN number, which is something to do with exporting, and it just gave us that, and that's what we need, and um, so I rang our friend's friend who's broker, because we did a um, private sale, so we don't have a broker, but we also used a broker for the transaction of the money. I had the... the customs officer gave us a little piece of paper with it it said it it looked like to lee and i are you so we were ringing around asking to get an itu number and no one knew what that was um obviously because it's not a thing it's an itn number which is something to do with permission to export i've got um barrett thank you so much he's been trying to help us and he's been being very very kind and helping um, he said he'll get back to me tonight, but I'm just looking online and what I've found, it says 72 hours you need, 72 hours to get uh, your ITN number and we have to be out of this country less than 72 hours, so the moment's looking pretty grim. I don't know how to get this number and I we can't check out until we have it and our, our visas are they're up in less than two days, so... Yeah, that's where we're at right now. We had money, we could fly to another country, leave the boat here, come back in, and the happy days. But we've really left it too late for that. Who's gonna bung me? We've got one day to get out of the country and uh, still waiting on our ITN number. Um, Things aren't really flowing at the moment. We still haven't taken the boat for a run. We've got to fuel up. There's a lot going on. We are very stressed right at this second. But hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll... I'm not really stressed, actually. I, I sort of lost that feeling of stressness about three days ago. It's like, well, we can only do what we can do now. Oh, I've got a wiring loom. I haven't even had time to replace it. I've got all cracked wires. Um, just hopefully we don't have a fire or anything on the way down. I'll tape up and tie all this together, but my original plan was to completely strip all this out, put a new bus in, and I just don't have time. I barely have time to even get the boat sailable. Everything's stowed away, so... I think we're only like a couple of weeks off feeling a bit ready, like tidying stuff up like this completion of water maker servicing of winch which I we're gonna be leaving here we don't have a windlass well it's working but it was leaking oil everywhere so I suppose in an emergency situation we can use it maybe but yeah I don't even know if there's oil in it it's, it's definitely leaked a lot of oil so haven't looked at it haven't serviced it don't know what I'm looking at yet so Fingers crossed we can go from this marina here in San Diego to Ensenada Marina without any problems. Otherwise there's going to be problems, proper problems. So, fingers crossed. Bella has buffed the entire boat, yeah? Alright, we're looking. She's buffed this morning. So nice! Oh my god, look at these lines. Ready? <laughs> There's not much left of these ones, guys. I reckon we're gonna see a snap. Oh no. Look at the front. Oh, look at this. Bella. We've still got a container there, honey. Does that stay in there? I've got some new on the back. Still got a name our dinghy. That surfboard doesn't look very safe. It's not going to stay there. Don't worry. We've got an outboard that's not going, but we'll hopefully get it going. And uh, she's getting there. We are maybe taking her out this afternoon for a little bit of a run.
As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.